After a year of death and destruction from Russia's invasion in Ukraine, refugee Natalia Bondarenko is now in Raleigh looking back. I think we all got stronger. We have a plan. We are fighting probably the biggest evil in the modern world. We have a support all over the world. We are doing our job here, helping to get the supplies and just supporting from all over the world. Go in there, go in straight forward to the victory. Natalia was the head of a school in Mariupol. She and her teen son fled the country. I have a friends here. They were traveling and they offered their house for me and my son for a couple of months. So this is how we ended up in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. She arrived in Raleigh last summer. We all are so homesick, but for me, it's it is temporarily. Natalia's family also fled. All of my relatives made it safe out of Mariupol. It was the most difficult trip you can imagine, but they made it out. Thankful her family's fine, but heartbroken about those she's lost. A friend of mine uh, from Mariupol, she and her husband um, went upstairs to get some stuff for kids. And that was the moment where um, air missile got into their house. Despite the death and destruction, she believes the war will end with victory and Natalia will once again return to Ukraine and live in peace. Are you nervous about what you may find there? My home, my parents' place and my school, they're, it's just a bricks. It just, it's all ruins. So there's nothing to be nervous about. The people made it out. It's okay, we'll, we'll rebuild, we'll rebuild. And Natalia says she has a wonderful support system here in Raleigh, and she will be attending the candlelight vigil for Ukraine this evening at 630. It's at the State Capitol building here in Raleigh with the Ukrainian Association of North Carolina.